<laughs> to get to the CO2, you either hit the CO2 tab on the top or you hit the CO2 parameter itself. This is your CO2 setup. This is where you're gonna see your end tidal CO2 reading, your inspired, and your respiratory reading. Next to those numbers is the high and low limits. The only portion that you really need to um, use on this setup is the zero calibration. You do need to zero calibrate your CO2 if you have side stream and, and or mainstream CO2. Uh, zero calibrating is very important for the accuracy of the CO2 readings. Now with the CO2 side stream, when you first turn the monitor on, you need to wait about a minute to give it a warm up. And with the CO2 mainstream, you need to wait about two minutes for the CO2 to warm up. Once the CO2 is warmed up, then you can go ahead and run a zero calibration. Now when you run a zero calibration, either side stream or mainstream, you always wanna make sure that the sample line or the airway adapter is off the patient and in a well ventilated area. So this example is side stream. I have it attached to the side of the monitor and we're gonna go ahead and run a zero calibration. So all you need to do is hit the zero button and it asks is input exposed to zero. You just say yes, so as long as again, it's off the patient or in, in, a, in a well ventilated area. So you just hit yes and it's gonna run through a zero calibration. So it's gonna say zero in progress. Now while it's running in there, if everything is, is good, what you're gonna see is big z a, red, a big red zero that's gonna come up and that's gonna give you the indicator that the sample line and or the adapter is good, that everything um, has been zero calibrated out, we have no um, waveform on the side here. So you're good to go, you can measure this on a patient. However, if it says occlusion or not ready to zero or any other um, reading on the bottom that doesn't have this big red zero, either you need to change your adapter or your sample line and try to re-zero. If you continue to have an issue, uh, I would like you to call technical support and we can run through some things with you on uh, the best practices of CO2, which will also be in a different video.